Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, um, obviously, I'm Lane. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. It actually means a lot, more than you would actually think. So, I'm actually so excited. I have been doing, like, I guess you could say prep of this video for, like, the past month. Because this is going to be my quarantine spring 2020 clothing haul. I actually really like watching hauls. That's, like, my number one kind of videos to watch, like, our fashion videos and hauls. Because I feel like when other people are giving you, like, their honest, like, and genuine opinion about a brand, a piece of clothing, it really helps out with, like, shopping. Because I know I watched tons of videos when I was, like, thinking about purchasing some of these items. So, I'm hoping this video can be helpful to you guys. And as you can see, um, I have a lot of clothes. I think I spent over 600 so let's get into the video. So the first store that I shopped at was obviously Princess Polly. I have actually never shopped at Princess Polly before despite like how many like ads I see from them, but I just don't know. I never really trusted online shopping until that was my only outlet to shop. So I decided to order from Princess Polly and I was so not disappointed. Like, oh my God, I have my little pile over here. So the first thing I ordered was this long sleeve white basic top. And if it looks a little dirty, it's because it is. Uh, my sister, I think, wore it or something because there's a stain and I don't ever stain my clothes. But it'll come out super easy. I've washed it before. It is so cute. It is so soft. Like, holy crap. I wear this to sleep, but like I can also wear out. So I think it's really, really good. I've been looking at this top for a while because it can be paired with like, maybe paired with jeans and skirts and just all of the above. And it's just overall really good top to have. So the second was I had a couple outfit inspirations in my head. I made a Pinterest board before I started shopping and stuff. So this was something I knew I had to get. So this is just this plain white top. Ew, that's like my fake tan on the side. I'm so sorry. I really should have washed these. But it's just this plain white top. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 20 bucks. What I was really worried about is if the top was going to be see-through because I know like most, most of the time when people like order white tops, like they're see-through. And when I wear a nude bra with this one, you can't really see it at all and like it's gonna sound weird but if you have like smaller boob then it probably won't be bad i have bigger boobs so like that tends to like pop out a little bit more if you know what i mean but overall a really really good top all you need is a nude bra and then you're good so then i bought the princess polly skirt this is the light blue baby blue mini skirt and it has white flowers on it and it is so so cute and even though it's like a blue i think this is so so easy to style as long as you're wearing white or black like bro you got this i was worried about sizing and stuff but it fits me like a glove like princess polly as a whole did really good with their sizing like they really are true to size for reference i'm a size two so i got that in tops and in bottom bottoms i'm definitely a two tops i might i maybe could go up another size just because i have a bigger chest but like oh everywhere else it's totally fine so then i got another skirt and it is this super cute it's a little bit wrinkly but it's this lime green mini skirt and once again i got this as a, in a size two and this is the marcel mini skirt and it is so cute it's like this i wouldn't call it silky material i don't even know but it's really nice i actually really really like it i haven't gotten the chance to wear it yet which is so upsetting maybe it would look good with this maybe like a monochromatic thing I don't know, but really like this. And I was in desperate need for denim. So Princess Polly is where I ordered my denim because those skirts fit me so well. I was like, okay, the jeans are probably the same. So I got these jean shorts. And once again, I got these in a size two. And I like these a lot because they have these little cutouts that are on the sides. So they're high waisted. So it's not like your little pudge area that's gonna like squish out of it. It's just kind of like, like your oblique area, if that makes sense. And I think they are so, so cute. I think they're like the perfect summer shorts and I've worn them. I really, really like them. So let me talk about these jeans. This is the only complaint I had, but I don't think it was on the fault of Princess Polly, if that makes sense. I got these super cute jeans. They're high waisted and they're mom jeans and they're from the brand Ragged Priest. And like, look at the back. That is so, so cute. I love them. But my only complaint is, so this brand, well, I'm going to try and explain this as the best way possible. So I ordered a two.
too. And then when I got the jeans, they were so tight on me. Like, and then I checked the actual tag of the jean and it said it was a zero. But then I looked and for Princess Polly, I ordered a two. And so then I went back on the website just to like look to see if maybe I accidentally clicked a zero, but there is no zero option. Two is the smallest. So if you're ever ordering from the brand Ragged Priest, you have to order a size up. So when I ordered a four from Princess Polly, then I got a two from Ragged Priest, if that makes sense. I, I wouldn't call it a manufacturing error, but like it's just like a sizing error with this brand. But it wouldn't stop me from buying these jeans because I got the wrong size, I exchanged them, got the right size, and I love them. Love, love, love them. Oh, I totally forgot. I also got this little cardigan and it is this pretty lime green, neon green. It's a really thin cardigan, so it's definitely for spring. And I have mine buttoned up a little bit right now, but I've worn it all together buttoned or no button, but I love this thing. I was looking for a cardigan forever because those are so trendy right now and they've been selling out like crazy. Verge Girl, I hear, is like the number one place to buy cardigans, but they're always out and they never take anything off their website, so I never know. But I got like one of those notifications like, oh my God, back in stock. So then I bought this the first day it came back in stock and I love it. I love the color of it. It is so soft. And this is probably one of my favorite things that I bought from them. And the last things I got from Princess Polly, um, I definitely couldn't have finished my shopping without getting these. I got two pairs of earrings and these are the big gold hoops that almost everybody has that are from Princess Polly. And they're so, so basic, but I wear them all the time. And I really feel like they totally like spice up my outfit whenever I do. If I wasn't having the haul, I would actually wear them right now. I think they would look really good. And then I got this smaller version and I don't exactly remember what the name was of these. I hope you guys can see them, but they were like Spanish something. Cause they're not, so they're not like, I hope this focuses. They're not like actual plain circular things. You know what I mean? Like they kind of have some like edging to them, but I think that actually makes them a little bit more interesting. I was hesitant on buying them for that reason. I'm sorry for my nails, but I actually love them. Both of those earrings are like the perfect sizes. I wear both of them equally and I love them. Okay. So the next place that I ordered from was from a store called Adika. And this is an online website. I never shopped with them before. They have a really cheap clothes. That's the basis of it. So I'm going to give my opinions because I, I it's like a 50-50 for me if I like that brand or not. For instance, I really wanted a cheetah print skirt. So I bought one and this one was on Adika and I'm pretty sure that it was like 20 bucks or something like that. See, super, super cute skirt. I really like it. I like the material of it, but you can kind of see this inner layer when I'm actually wearing it. This might just because maybe because my thighs are a little bit bigger. I'm not really sure. But then I also got a small. They don't have like the actual numeric sizing like Princess Polly does. And it was a little bit big on me. So I prefer brands that have actual numeric sizing because I feel like it's actually like for you. You know what I mean? Cause not every small is the same kind of small, but still a really cute skirt and I'm still gonna wear it. The next thing I got from Medica is this pretty baby pink butterfly shirt and I really, really like it. It's a little bit long. Well, okay, it's like a normal t-shirt length but I just have a really short torso and me being short in general, if I show more of my torso, it makes me look longer. So I'll probably cut this just to make it a little bit more cropped. The only complaint I have about this is it's not a cotton material. It's actually like more of like a spandex polyester. Like you can kind of see that right there. And I mean, that's fine. It kind of just feels like a swimmer's top. So like maybe this can be my new swimsuit. I don't know, but I still really like it. I still think it's super cute. It looked good with this headband. Huh? I wear this headband out all the time. This I've already had though. Now, Adika is the place to go if you need graphic tees, which are so so in right now, so, so, so trendy. I got this graphic tee, let me see, I don't even know what it says on it, but it is so cute. It says Team 100 and it has this race car and I wore this in one of my Instagram pictures and I love my outfit. I feel like such a baddie when I wear it. And it's oversized, I don't know what size I got. I probably got a medium. I probably got a medium because I didn't want it to like swallow me, but it's still a pretty oversized t-shirt. Like it covers my butt and like everything. It. Oh, I love it so much and it's like perfect cotton material. It's just what you expect from a t-shirt and I really like it. Because sure, you can go to Goodwill and get like a t-shirt for like a dollar, but is it really gonna be a cute t-shirt or is it really just a cheap t-shirt? And then the second t-shirt I got, I wear just as much as I do that white one. It says 
San Francisco and it is this amazing bright hot pink and when I first ordered this I thought this lettering was just white but if you guys get closer it's actually green and white that's adorable I love this and this one is also oversized but I just looked at the tag and it's a small medium so I think that I probably got a small medium in the white one too and this one is still oversized on me as well so, big fan. So, Princess Polly and Adika is like the majority of where I bought my clothes, but I have a couple like little shops right there. I got this cute little basic top from PacSun and I really like it. It's just this pretty peach, light orange color. I think it looked really good with my skin tone and these buttons, these ones stay done together, but you can always put these other ones together if you want. I like keeping it open, but that's just a preference of mine, but you could still put it together. That looks weird. That was like a keyhole, but you get what I'm talking about. And PacSun also has this in like four other colors. I think I have white, light blue, and I could be wrong because this is just their basic section, but still a cute shirt to have for the summer when you're not really feeling like wearing a tank top like me majority of the time. So I got more jeans and these jeans are amazing. If you guys know who Sarah Joy is, she owns this pair of jeans and I went on a lot of her videos to try and get recommendations for clothes. I love her channel by the way also, but these jeans she recommended, they are the mid-rise boot cut light wash jean and they are so, so cute. They're from Urban Outfitters. I don't remember if I said that before. They have a really, really wide leg, but I roll them up because obviously I'm short, but I actually have great things to say about these pair of jeans. When I first got them, they were a little bit tight, but the day after I wore them, they loosened out. So now I can wear them all the time. And even though I'm short, I'm 5'2", these knee holes go right on my knees. Like they aren't like, below my knees or in a weird place, like they actually fit perfectly. And the only recommendation I would have when it comes to Urban Outfitters is order a size up because they obviously run pretty small. So that that's just like recommendation that I got from other people and I just kind of want to share with you guys because when I ordered these, I got a size up and they fit perfectly. And if I, if I would have gotten in my actual size, I probably would have suffocated in my own jeans. So, I highly recommend getting a size up. Next thing I got is from a boutique called Vestique and it is in my town, my area, but they have a couple of other stores and they have an online store if you ever want to get it. So it is this cute graphic t-shirt. It was definitely not as cheap as Adika, but it says leopard on it and I love it. I wore this in my Lazy Five Ranch vlog that I posted a couple days ago. I really like it. It is super soft. I think I got size medium yeah i got a size medium and just as well it covers my butt it's good it's oversized enough but it's not gonna swallow me okay the next place i shopped was brandy melville of course i went on their website and me being stupid i waited to order my stuff and then all of it was out of stock but i did finally get these rosa sweatpants and they are this beautiful light blue color and i at first thought they were going to be more gray but they're not and they fit me perfectly they fit me around my waist and they're super loose everywhere else and i actually really like the cuffed bottoms of them too they they're the best like these are the best sweatpants they're so thick the material is so good i really want to get those hot pink ones but i can't find them anywhere and i followed so many thrift shops so if you guys know where i can get some please let me know because i'm i'm freaking trying big fan of these and i really needed some sweatpants for quarantine okay the next place that i shopped was nasty gal i've also never shopped here before when i was shopping though they had a 60 percent off sale so that was amazing I bought this sweatsuit. So it has white sweatpants and then an obvious matching white sweatshirt. And they fit me super, super well. They're a little bit bigger on me compared to the Brandy ones, but obviously Brandy is very specific about their sizing. I'm just gonna put it like that. And this is the matching sweatshirt. So nothing special, just a plain white sweatshirt that has a hoodie on it. But um, I've been trying to get one of those tie-dye sweatsuits and I obviously can't find them anywhere because everyone has been buying them and they're so so out of stock and i bought this because i thought oh, lane you can do this yourself yeah so i'm gonna actually buy some pink dye i just keep forgetting about it i'm just gonna tie dye these myself 
That was actually really difficult to say. I wouldn't have bought this otherwise, but because of the 60% off sale, it was supposed to be like 60 something and it was like 30. For a sweatshirt and sweatpants? Um, yeah. And then I got this other thing from Nasty Gal, which I'm not sure if I'm a fan of. This isn't what I was expecting when I ordered it, but it is this big, I mean big, like heart locket chain thing. Like I'm gonna look like Mr. T if I wear this. I haven't even worn it. Can this fit? No. But I haven't even worn it yet. When I ordered it, I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller, like more dainty. And it that's just not the case. I don't really have the motivation to return stuff because I feel like it'd be really difficult. And I waited forever from Nasty Gal to get my stuff. I think it took seven business days. I'm not sure how I feel about this necklace. I'm not gonna return it though, and I'm gonna try and make some use out of it. Okay, and now I just have a couple random things that I was picking up. These weren't like specific for like my spring haul wardrobe type thing, but they're just other things that I picked up when I was out shopping. If you saw my Targ video, you saw that I bought these sweatshirts. I bought this lime green sweatshirt and this purple sweatshirt. Well, I saw this other girl did, I don't remember who it was, but I ordered these these patches, these butterfly patches off Amazon, and I put them on here and I love them. Like love, love them. I wear them all the time. So this is the green one and I think the patches were like less than $10 and we got like a pack of like 20. This one has a couple stains on it because my sister wore it. I don't even know if you can see it. But this is the lavender lilac one. I love it just as much as the green one and it was so easy. Like the patches and if they do happen to fall off, I can just iron them back on again. Super, super easy. And now I have been following a lot of those like Instagram thrift shops seeing if I can find stuff. So I have this cute black Brandy Melville skirt and it's this like suede material. I don't know what exactly material I thought I was ordering or like buying off of this girl, but it wasn't this one. So this feels like more like I'm, I'm not really gonna wear it in spring. I think I'm gonna wear this more during the winter just because the material, it's not very like free flowy. You know what I mean? If it was like a, you know what material I'm like, you know what material I'm thinking about? Like, I'm gonna put a picture right here. Like this is, this is the kind of skirt that I was expecting. That's what I saw. And at first I thought she actually ripped me off, but then I like checked the tag and stuff. It doesn't say Brandon Melville on it either. It says John Gold, but then I figured out that John Gold is like one of the wholesaler people. I don't know if that's how you say it. This is a Brandon Melville skirt. It's just not what I was expecting. It's okay, it was 20 bucks, so whatever. I just have a couple of little things. Um, I just happened to go to Five Below because it's like the only thing open right now. I don't know, but I bought these silver hoops which i actually needed a lot more silver jewelry so i'm happy i bought them they're a little bit bigger than the ones that i got for princess polly and i'm sure they're gonna turn my ears green but like these was like two dollars so i bought them sorry like mm, quality sorry i don't i don't i don't know her and then i bought these i know they look dorky but like yeah those guys but like i'm going to georgia so like i want these i think that'd be so cute for game day or just like an instagram picture or something like that i don't know and then i bought this which was a waste of my money and i regret it but i thought that i would share it it's sports bra but what can i expect from a sports bra from five below like of course this isn't going to give me any real support but it's really cute and i'll probably wear it just around my house or whatever okay guys so that is going to be the end of my haul i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys do want to see more of these type of like clothing fashion videos please let me know because i actually have a lot of ideas i just don't know if you guys are into that but let me know so if you do like this video i would really appreciate if you liked comment subscribe if you want to it would mean a lot and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye